I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. Let me tell you something about these Hamite people. Let me tell you something about they ain't never had enough sense. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. But let me say that the Hamite people ain't never had enough sense to call themselves a name of the, out of the Bible, except these, 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 <laughs> these people running around, they're calling themselves the, uh, the, the Israelites. <laughs> if that ain't a joke, I don't know what is. I mean, you, I mean, I mean, what kind of potato brain mentality do you have to have to join a group called yourself the Israelites, the black Jews. <laughs> if that ain't a joke, I don't know what is. <laughs> but even when they call themselves, they're taking somebody else's name. They're taking another group's name. They're taking another. Listen, let me tell you something. Jesus was not born through these people that came out of South Carolina and Mississippi <laughs> and, and Chicago. Kansas City and St. Louis calling themselves Israelites, the black Jews. If that ain't a joke, if that ain't a sense of desperation. You know, the other thing is what they did as well, the, the religious thing that they did. A group, this Elijah Poole fella, he called himself Elijah Muhammad. His name is actually Elijah Poole. He's born down there in Augusta, Georgia. The son of a Baptist preacher started a group called the, the Black Muslims. Doggone. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> If this don't make you laugh, I don't know what will. Listen, yeah, one group over here calling themselves the black Jews. They are not. They black, but they ain't Jews. Then you got this other group over here got started back in the 50s, calling themselves the black Muslims. Doggone. They want to steal the Muslim identity. Black people want to steal. Black people will steal your identity. I'll tell you, black people will steal pennies off a dead man's eyes. Black, black, black people, black people stole the Muslims, and we the black Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> we the black Muslim. And uh, then the, this other Israelite group said, we the black Jews. Said, oh, gone. If this ain't sad, if this ain't chaos, I don't know. So here, they call themselves black Muslims for a while, right? They're Hamites, but they call themselves black Muslims. So they raised up this guy, this guy, his name, what was his name? I forget what his name was. It was raised up in the middle of the, uh, the prison, and he became a Muslim, and they called him Malcolm X. I think his name was Malcolm Little. A little Malcolm. <laughs> anyway, so they raised this guy up named Malcolm X, right? Call him Red. So Malcolm X, he's running, I'm a black Muslim. We the black Muslim. Okay, black people ain't, you know, they're going to take everybody else's name. They, they don't know what to do. They take everybody else's name except the name that God gave them. Right. So they said, we black Muslims, right? We black Muslims. We black, we black, we, we, we the nation of Israel, Islam. We, <laughs> the white man, he's the devil. So this, 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 this Malcolm little fella went over there to, to, to the Hajj. By the way, have y'all heard that over 1,300 people died in Mecca last, yesterday going to, going to that sacred stone called the Hajj? 1,300 people died on their way to the most sacred stone. <laughs> the very thing is crazy as that. Anyway, so Malcolm goes over there to the Hajj in Mecca, and he sees that the, um, the Muslims are white. He sees that the Muslims, and there are millions of them that are white. By the way, you know, we got some of the most ignorant, if you're black people are the most racist people. I do declare before God, if you got rid of every black person, there'd never be a, the word racism would disappear, would disintegrate like a sneeze in the wind. If you get rid of black, they are the most racist people I ain't never, and their racism is ridiculous. They want to be Jews, they want to be Muslim, they want to be everything except what God called them to be. So anyway, we have this picture of Jesus, who is a Jew, hanging on, on the wall. I, 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 Jesus got my back. I put that picture up there because I want Jesus to get my back while I'm preaching. Why y'all got that white Jesus up there? Why? That Jesus ain't white. Jesus is black. The British grass. Bra he said his feet were like British brass. His hair was like willy bully. <laughs> willy bully. His British brass. Oh, okay. Why you got that? Why you got that white Jesus up there? Need to put a black. I'm leaving this church. Bam! I'm gone. I, you need to have a black Jesus. Jesus is black. They say so. So Malcolm, listen. So Malcolm, Malcolm goes over to the Mecca and he finds out the Muslims are white. 
<laughs> so Malcolm Bump, after all that rhetoric, all that black talk in Chicago, Harlem and Atlanta, Georgia, out there in Los Angeles, all that black Muslims are black. Malcolm, their spokesperson, their number one leader in the it's black nation of Islam and said Muslims are white. They killed him. That's right. I'm telling you, they killed that boy. You be saying, that, no, Muslims ain't white. Muslims are black. They killed him. I'm telling you, they killed, they killed Malcolm. You don't believe it? I'll go get Spike Lee's movie. They killed Malcolm. Because he said, he said Muslims were white. He said they want to kill me because I got a Jesus on, the, on my wall of a, a Jew color, the color of a Jew. How many Jews do you know are white? The Jewish man walked by you right now on the street with your dumb self. You won't know whether he's Jewish or Palestinian or whether he's Italian because his skin color is white, but he's a Jew. Jesus is a Jew. And the picture I have on my wall is an authentic color. Don't try to kill me, though, the way you kill. They, now, these people, listen. These Negroes killed Malcolm. He was, they, all Malcolm tried to do was tell him that Muslims are white. They killed they, they, These black people are, you talking about some, you talk some, and not only they're racist, but ignorant. I'm talking about ignorant way down in your big toe, ignorant. Black people are the most racist, ignorant, unproductive people you're going to find anywhere on the planet. In fact, if you get rid of black people, you'll get rid of global warming. They're ignorant. Now, I, the Lord has sent me to deliver them, and I love them. But you, you get rid of black people, you can get rid of global warming, you can get rid of famine, you can get rid of disease. Heck, you wouldn't have the huckabuck no more. Get rid of black. They, they killed Malcolm because he said that Muslims were white. And he was right. He was right. He said, no, no, Muslims are black. We're going to kill you, boy. No, you're lying on us. You, they killed Malcolm. I swear, you, you ain't never seen nothing like dealing with black folk. You ain't never seen. You, <laughs> woo. I don't know if the Jews were this bad when they, enslaved, when they were in slavery, but black folk, I tell you, the God's honest truth. They're the most ignorant, unproductive people you ever want to find. They're leeches. Were it not for the white man, they'd all be dead anyway. Oh, they're not able to feed themselves. They don't know how to produce. They've never produced a city. They, 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 it's just a shame. But God has sent me. The Lord has sent me, and here I am, to love. He sent me to love. Now, all that I said, you said, Pastor, man, you hate the black? No, no, man, I don't hate black folk. I don't. No, I love them. I don't think there's a person on planet. I don't think there's a person on planet Earth that loves black people as much as I do. And I'm here to prepare a place for Jesus. I'm here to teach them, and I'm going to reach them. I am. You think it was easy? Listen, Moses had a hard time with the Jews. It wasn't easy for him. It isn't easy when you got a people in slavery in, in unprecedented ignorance. It isn't easy. It isn't easy. But I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it because I love my brother, but he's ignorant. I'm telling you, that boy, he's something else. He's lazy. No, he is. He won't come up on time. And the other thing is that you give him, rather than when you give him something, rather than him saying, oh, somebody gave me, it's time for me to give. Why don't this, why, this giving thing is a good thing. I just received something good because my pastor Manning gave me something that what I'm going to give too. I'm going to give. You give that boy something, he's going to stop. He'll quit his job. I swear, you give him something, that boy going to quit his job and wait on you to give it. And then if you don't, after he quits his job and you don't come back and give him again, then he's going to want to shoot you. <laughs> He said, you ain't never seen nothing about these black people. He will rob your church. If you, if you give him, because, you know, he ain't got nothing. He have a hand out. He's homeless. He, you know, he doesn't have a place to stay. He doesn't have food. He doesn't, he hasn't, he hasn't changed his underwear in four months. He doesn't own a roll of toilet paper. He's never hung a curtain in a house. You know, he doesn't have a teaspoon or a plate. You know, but you give him something, right? You give him something. Help him get on his feet. Right? You give him something, get on his feet, you give him all the toilet paper he needs so he can do what he needs to do with the toilet paper. Give him a roof, put over his head. And then once he gets up on his feet, he'll quit his job. And after he quits his job, he's gonna look at you, well now listen, why are you not giving to me? And he's gonna wanna kill you. He's gonna wanna shoot you, kill you, sabotage you, burn down your church if you don't keep on giving to him. 